Hello friends, welcome to another lecture of Make Mechanical Simple. Today we are going to discuss a simple topic from the subject of mechanics of solids. That is, we are going to find out how to determine stresses in a composite bar or a compound bar. So first of all, I will tell you what is a composite bar or a compound bar. A composite bar is made of two or more material, different materials in such a way that they deform as a single unit. That means they elongate or contract as a single unit. So, so here I have shown four different combinations of uh, composite bars or compound bars. That is here, this is a simple composite bar made of two materials and the load P is acting at the free end. And here the second case, uh, a rod is inserted inside a cylindrical tube. This can also be considered as a composite bar. I actually drawn the cross section here. And here also I have drawn the cross section of a reinforced concrete column. So this is a reinforced concrete column having six reinforcement. Okay. And the fourth one, this is also similar to this one. Only difference is uh, both the materials have different length. That is the only difference. And here, instead of a tensile load, here a compressive load P is acting. Okay. So, these are the difference. So, you can expect uh, problems from all these different cases. So, whatever be the case, uh, we have to deal the problems from composite bar in a similar way. That is, we need two set of conditions to solve a problem from composite bar. That is, one is an equilibrium equation and second one is a compatibility equation. The equilibrium equation is uh, the total load acting in a composite bar is the sum of the individual loads shared by each of the material. That is, suppose the load, the total load acting is P here, then that will be equal to the load shared by the material 1 and material 2. That is, P1 plus P2 we can write as P. So, this is an equilibrium equation. So, same equation is applicable in all these cases. So, we have got one equation. Okay. And second one is a compatibility equation that actually uh, comes from the definition of the composite bar that we already discussed. So, what is that? Uh, the composite bar can deform as a single unit. That means the deformations of both the materials will be same. So, mathematically, how we can represent it? We can write it as delta L1 is equal to delta L2. So, we can substitute the values of delta L1 and delta L2 that is P1 L1 divided by A1 E1 and P2 L2 divided by A2 E2. If the lengths are same, you can actually strike off the L1 and L2. Uh, in some cases, lengths may be different also. So, here we have got two equations in P1 and P2. So, if you want, you can standardize these equations by bringing this RHS term to LHS. Okay. So, we have got two equations in P1 and P2. Now, you have two unknowns that is P1 and P2 and you can solve that using these two equations in a calculator. So, usually uh, in, in problems of composite bar, you may be asked to find the stresses in both the material. So, once you have got P1 and P2 values by solving these equations, you can simply divide the same with the corresponding areas that is P1 divided by A1 you will be getting the corresponding stresses. So this is very simple just you have to formulate two equations and solve that equations that means you have to find the values of P1 and P2. So next we are going to do a problem based on this. So please watch the problem descriptions and come back. A steel road of cross-sectional area 800 mm square and two brass rods of cross-sectional area 500 mm square together supports a load of 25 kN. Calculate the stresses in the roads. Take E4 steel as 200 GPA and E4 brass as 100 GPA. So guys, this is the problem given. So here we have a 25 kN load is supported by two brass roads and a steel road. Okay. And the lengths are given here the length of the steel is 250 millimeter and here the length of brass roads are uh, 200 millimeter and the areas are given uh, remember that uh, 
area of one brass bar is 500 millimeter square each that means to find the total area of brass bar you have to multiply the same with 2 now what you have to do you have to write the equilibrium equation and compatibility equation so we can write the equilibrium equation first that is p steel plus p brass that is equal to the total load p so we can substitute the values that is p steel plus p brass that is equal to what is p here 25 kilo newton so we'll do 10 power 3 okay now next one we have to do is you have to write down the compatibility equation that is uh, p steel l steel divided by a steel divided by e steel that is equal to um, p brass l brass divided by a brass and by e brass so now you can substitute all the values of l area and Young's modulus here so that we have two equations here two equations here that is equation 1 and equation 2 now what you have to do you have to solve these equations by using a calculator this is a two unknown equations you can easily solve this equation using a calculator okay so if you enjoy this lecture please like this video and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further updates Thank you for watching.